Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're back at it again for week number 13 of what I eat in a week plus workouts. So I started off this day by doing a Chloe Ting workout. It's a part of her challenge and look at how slow I'm working out compared to like if I didn't speed up my video, just watch, watch the next clip. Like this looks like I'm doing it in slow-mo. Anyways, I'm at the beach right now recording this voiceover. And yeah, so this is Easter Sunday morning and after I worked out in the morning, I got ready for church. So here I am in my pink polo shirt, trying to look formal, but I guess I was doing average compared to church. Like, people wear dresses and stuff on Easter, but I just can't be bothered, guys. I just wear pink and I call it a day. Also, I top it off with my pink mask. But here I am making oatmeal for breakfast. So it's instant oats, chia seeds, peanut butter, almond milk. You know the drill. And this day during Easter mass, what happened? Oh, I saw like... Three different teachers from like middle school and elementary school. I saw like two different families from, you know, like also elementary and middle school. And I just speed walked out of there as soon as possible. I just can't deal with social interaction on Easter, guys. I'm just in and out, basically. And this is like the first Easter mass, at least, where I didn't feel claustrophobic. I guess because there was like social distancing enforced. So there, like, there's a limit to the amount of people who could show up online, or not online, like you have to sign up online and then you show up. And also, like every other pew is blocked off, so I just didn't feel like I was cramped and dying in church for once. And when I got back home, we decided to eat hot pot for lunch, homemade hot pot. So here I am making the noodles once the water boils. And my mom made the broth. It's like mushrooms, okra, there's also beef on the side. And greens so you just dip it in there and you yank it out and then you have hurrah cooked meat and cooked vegetables so i ate like two bowls of that it's pretty good pretty good pretty good and i also ate chocolate it's belgian apparently my dad was raving about it he's been saving it all throughout the lenten season and i thought it was average like i i mean i would eat it again but i don't think it's like special or anything it's from the grocery store a little and I mean, I did like how it was like shaped like, you know, the beach. And this is my mom making this like clam party dish, I guess. She was gonna go to a family get together after and I stayed home, but yeah, she brought that dish over. I went on my walk and I found this yellow flower field. I guess it was like just a field of weeds, but you know, it looked pretty. So I went on my Visco and I also went on my walk a lot of cherry blossoms still active and after my walk i ate three pieces of cantaloupe from the day before that i just never got to eat because i was so full the day before and this one is pretty sweet and juicy i also ate an apple of course you know i have a bunch of apples that just need to be eaten so yeah and i also ate peanuts for dinner i ate leftover so like the leftover soup with mushrooms there was like roast pork and also my mom's clam dish, like just leftovers of it. I ended up barely touching the clam dish compared to how much she gave me, but you know, dinner was pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. And it was a nice, lovely day, so I kicked around the soccer ball. Also, I saw this worm and I felt kind of sad because it was just like trying to find the grass and it was so close yet so far and it was going the wrong way too. And also, to enjoy the nice lighting, I decided to make my overnight oats. I mean, I'm not gonna pass up this lighting, guys. Even though I'm on spring break this week, and I'm not really like in a rush and need to, you know, get breakfast ready quickly, it's just a nice way to end off the day. Just making oatmeal, my favorite. And then this is what it looks like. I needed to mush up the peanut butter more, but yeah, I added more milk too. And here's my refrigerator, guys, if you've never seen it. The next day, I went to Virginia Beach. So before I left, I did a quick 20-minute Mad Fit workout. And this was a nice workout to just get me moving for the day. And I didn't wear my watch this day, just because I didn't want the constant reminders on the car, like, road trip, saying, it's time to stand. Like, no, I just don't want to deal with that on vacation. And I just want to enjoy my trip without having to worry about 
hitting my stand goal, my move goal, my whatever exercise goal. But yes, here I am getting my oatmeal ready. I left at around like 8.15 this day, 8.30. And we were on the road for about like, what, four hours? So we got there around 12.30. And the weather was, you know, it was like 60 degrees, sunny. You'll, you'll see later when I put more clips. I have allergies right now, so I've been like procrastinating on this like voiceover. Just because I always have to like sniff or just do something to clear my nose. When we got to Virginia Beach, I went to this pho restaurant and I got gum ganu, which is like grilled chicken with rice and nook mum on the side. So it's like this sauce here. It just adds flavor to it, guys, and it makes it less dry, but it was a very filling bowl. And this restaurant, I just, I've made a bunch of memories in it, so I really do like it. And we got to our hotel and I tried to go swimming, guys. But it was an, it was really a flop because the water was like 50 degrees and I, I was dying after. I just ran up and got my towel ASAP. After I showered, we went to a seafood buffet. So I ate a bunch of clam, a bunch of fried seafood too, and crabs. And yeah, this restaurant is pretty expensive. It's like $50 per person. So I really wanted to get my money's worth. And my parents got their money's worth eating a bunch of crabs. But I do like me some fried seafood. I got really, I, like I ate to the point of nausea and I just couldn't deal with the taste of like squishy seafood anymore. And I just don't want to eat seafood for a while now, but there's like greens on the side, crab there, more seafood, more fried stuff, and also macaroni and cheese. And for dessert I ate this Reese's cake, it was super good. I love me some peanut butter, I am a sucker for dessert as you can tell. I probably got my money's worth from the dessert. After eating at that restaurant, we decided to walk on the boardwalk for about an hour or two. And it was just really nice being able to watch the sunset and the waves, hearing the waves in the dark. Really nice experience. And barely anyone was there, I guess, because they all left after Easter. So we basically got the boardwalk to ourselves and a couple of random people. Nice experience. The next day, I decided to try out the hotel gym. And I know you're not supposed to try out like every single equipment gear at the gym like you're supposed to stick to like leg day for example do all the like leg machines and stuff but i just went off because i only had one day to experience this gym so i did like the leg press machine i tried out the stairmaster i literally did everything and i'm somewhat sore i wish i actually had a workout in mind just because i was like walking around trying out everything and this is a brand new hotel that just opened up last month so i guess no one was at the gym so i had the gym all to myself which is really nice and then before i left I went on a walk on the beach for about an hour on the sand with my brother and we walked to this campsite where I like stayed a couple times last summer. It just brought back a bunch of good memories and on our way home we stopped at Sonic and I got a breakfast burrito and it was a really nice burrito actually. There was like cheese, egg, just tater tots, everything basically breakfast in there. When I got home I ate this jello from a family party and it tasted like orange but it tasted like metamucil this like fiber that you eat when you need help pooping and i just did not like it. i probably wouldn't eat it again but i also ate a banana and apple i need me some fruit because i barely had any fruit this day so far so it was pretty nice just being able to be home and eat food at home for dinner i got panera so chicken noodle soup and a tuna sandwich i finally didn't get a salad here guys i decided to eat soup for once and this soup is like the og i've that was like the first thing I got at Panera. I also ate chocolate. Now that I was back from my trip, I did a HIIT workout from Anna. You know, the drill at this point. And it's kind of thundering outside. I can't tell if you can hear it. Yeah, I'm not wearing my headphones. So maybe the microphone doesn't pick it up at all. But yeah, I haven't heard a thunderstorm in a long time. Like maybe years. Actually, maybe not years. But you know, I, I, like, I, I don't know why I don't hear them anymore. So... I had oatmeal for breakfast and for lunch I had umreal which has like crab in it and there's like tofu and tomato and I also had collagen with it and there's noodles of course. I also had cotton candy grapes after lunch and that jello I said I'd never eat again but I ended up eating it and before I went to the outlet I ate half of that what was it it was like a coffee muffin it's really good and I went to the outlet of course I needed to buy new shoes and I also got bubble tea. For dinner, I had like roast pork and leftovers from lunch and also cantaloupe. 
here's my new shoes i got from the outlet i got them for 35 bucks which i think is a steal guys and i went on a walk after i feel like i'm on the sims and it's thundering and i'm just like kind of scared but like it doesn't look like it's raining it's very bright outside anyways yeah that was basically it for this day i'm just enjoying the spring weather and just the nice colorful outdoorsy vibes while it lasts because it'll probably be gone by next week i think and i want to manifest it but i just feel like that'll happen because it's been here for a while now and the next day this is thursday i went to get my covid vaccine shot so i had to take my oatmeal on the road i did a quick workout beforehand just in case i would get sore on the arm and for lunch, my family just wrapped up the leftover roast pork and some lettuce and mint. And that was basically my lunch. And I wanted something after, so I ate grapes and an apple. And then also peanuts. I finished up the rest of the container. I went on a run for once. I mean, like, you know, using my new shoes, I felt like I should put them to good use. So I went on a run. I, w I did like a little less than a mile, and now I'm all sore for no reason. I haven't run in a long time, so maybe that's why. But for dinner, my mom made rockfish from the beach. Fresh, so it's very fresh. Okra and this tomato soup. And yeah, that was basically it for what I ate this week. And I also ate chocolate, of course. Thank you for watching and bye.